are actually difficult matchups. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of difficult matchup matchups, we're seeing the other Ooh. most difficult matchup for Geef. Let's see if German can uh, can you know take the booms. The limbs were a little tough, but the booms. Mer Mermit. Oh. Oh dang! I thought you were a Bloodborne fan. I was like, oh, that's hype. Is, is it Merman? It's Merman. Okay. It's Merman. Okay, okay. <laughs> we know now. We know now. Apologies. Dude, I thought I thought dude was the last hunter. I was like, that's badass. But Merman, Merman is also good. The first <laughs> hunter. Yes, my bad. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking the first boss. Who's that guy? Gascoigne, the other G. Also a great boss. Shout out to Bloodborne. Rest in peace wherever the source code for that game was. Oh, man. Maybe one day. Maybe Bloodborne PC. But today, it's all about Street Fighter VI on PS5, baby. And we got Dagger G in the corner. Merman with a really nice uh, position. But, you know, how... Ooh, trade on the Nani X. Oh, great catch. All right. Like, right now, I would say... Dagger's doing pretty... Decent here. Yeah, I think I think the big difference that we're seeing between this and the Nelson matchup is that he's he's not able or he's able to walk forward. Uh, when booms are not on the screen, walking forward is safe. And uh, ooh, drive rush forward, so back back. Interesting. But yeah, and I mean just the way he's playing, he's maintaining a really nice life lead. Uh oh. I was trying to get out of that parry animation. Probably was trying to get a perfect parry to save that scenario. Oh, oh that's a rough. little too. Wait. Oh, great challenge. Great challenge. Yeah, he went for the he went for the plus nine. That gap is massive. But uh, great reward, right? So dagger G, right, right on that on that check. Well, interesting over the pile driver there. I think that was intentional to yeah. try to delay the aerial landing. I like it when they do that. Just the stall is so so like stylish. You're gonna have to take a little bit of uh, chip damage, my friend. Yeah, pretty pretty rough. I mean, luckily his back isn't to the wall, right? So we got this nice. But man, we're getting there. And drive is almost done. There we go. Level two. Where's the level two dagger G? That's level three as well here. If you're able to get that scenario that, honestly, with how close this round is, Plus. it might just be oh. worth it. Oh! Oh, he didn't spend it, though. Interesting. Maybe uh, missed the input? Uh-oh. Huh. Interesting knockdown. That gives you a float knockdown. Oh, yeah. It's just a rough scenario to be in. And you see Merman looking off into the beyond. Uh, I, I've... I don't know about if you've ever done that, but the Beyond occasionally does have answers. You just stare hard enough. But sometimes you just stare. We'll see which one Merman was doing. Like right now, it's just looking like Dagger G is honed in, but great utilization of that overhead. That's going to be pretty useful, especially against a character that's trying to hold that downward charge. Yeah, and it's like one of the things with this matchup, right, is. Uh, Geef is going to take a bunch of these ticky tack hits. Uh, it's just what he has to do, you know? And so, like, as long as Guile isn't landing, like, a combo combo, you see, like, Merman's actually keeping a pretty pretty even life here. Like, he's, he's playing this neutral so well that Dagger G is sort of forced into these situations that he needs to throw a boom in jump range, for example. But it's these end of rounds that he's having the most trouble with. Merman, how do you close out? It's the final opening. Where is that last SPD? Oh. He went for it, and he was safe. Just a little too early. But yeah, Dagger just so so ready to uh, really just keep himself open. You know, open to opportunities. You saw he didn't anti-air with a flash kick. He anti-aired with that stand medium kick. And that's such a good all-purpose button. It'll check drive rushes as well, right? You don't need to be watching for everything. Oh, great catch there. Into the grab. Just, you know, get that extra value. Get rid oh. of that great health. Oh, but, oh, the side switch here is super rough. Yeah, Merman flubbed the Oki, and that's going to be a really big turnaround. That was probably the most control he's had so far. Nice reactions. No Those way. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. 
You know? Oh, but no follow oh. up! Dude, that was kinda awesome. <laughs> like, I, I figured what happened is you just expected <laughs> the level 3 to win so you don't do anything preemptively. Yeah, I mean, uh, surely it had more more uh, invincibility, but, you know, not enough active range. Hey, now you but, know. Oh, man. Oh, Dagger G yeah. combos. Woof. Hard place to be in. Yeah. Oh, dude. This is the... Dude, if you if you are Merman right now, to win this tournament, you need to 3-0 a guy and win two sets against a, a Dalsim that 3-0 you. Yeah. That is brutal! I, I'd be I really want to see can, it. I, I can see it happening. All we need is one SPD. <laughs> Except not because you don't get Ogi off that. Oh my oh goodness, man. this is rough now. Just the positioning, okay. perfect parry. Getting that positioning. The OD meter is also pretty low. Good option there from Merman. Nice. Oh my and he goodness. got his crush too, so it's not even a stun. Right. This goes for the damage. And now here's the stun, I think. Level level two, level one? No. Nope. Want to save on that meter needs it for next time. Okay, oh. the level two is on Dick though. He can still yeah, stop some it. booms if he wants to bet on that. I think Merman's is just like, you know, holding on to that super. And Dagger was like, I want to make you regret that. Oh, such a risky oh, parry. The perfect parry there. The scaling is the huge. Scaling. I don't think you can kill. No. Oh, oh no, no, he stopped parrying for one second. Okay, but level three is almost on deck here at the moment. Getting that out early could be a good way to set the tone for this round. Dude, but Geefs, dude, Geefs are long set masters. Geefs, these guys are the, like, wait till he starts reading these flash kicks, man. It might not happen this game, but like, you, you get that for a long one. You get that mental conditioning since level three is on deck. Is like you, that can always be an option. Yeah. I feel like it would actually make Dagger G play even more aggressive. Right. Yeah, and it means like any of these knee shots are suddenly that much more scary as as Geef. Oh. Okay. Big whiff. No big punish out of Merman though. Oh man, he's taking a lot of these drivers yeah. crash. Oh, oh, great utilization of the armor. Able to get the hit there. Oh, but no follow up. Ooh. Caught the dash. I don't know if he wanted that dash. I feel like that might have been an SPD. Okay, he's checking these now and he's baiting. All right, what is the way to turn this around? I think you can kill off this though. No, no, didn't oh, want to yeah, spend it, it, but is. that does. Yeah. There's a the, rough matchup. Oh my Drop goodness. the combo just long <laughs> enough to let you think that you can walk forward. Then he throws another boom. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. But that's going to be Merman with a sick run. Third place, Geef. Uh, pretty much the only thing stopping him is, uh, was crazy matchups today. But we see, like, man, Dagger G's challenges in those, in those situations post drive rush from Merman. Guile's locked in right now. Yeah. Man, that was so active. You see how late that medium kick This was too? crazy. Look this it, was insane. It. Yeah, it's just like. And you land in it. <laughs> man. Yeah, what do you do here, man? What do you do? Oh, yeah, and that's scaling. Oh, no, that was not when it didn't kill. That was last set, huh? Like, that. that is scaling. This interaction was scaling. You would have been dead if that wasn't a perfect for Real, real. Yeah, and I feel like he could have thrown all his booms there, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe the next one would have knocked down 